Welcome to the Epirus campaign for Davidi et in Pera 1.2.8. In the last part, we consolidated our hold on Southern Britannia. And what I want to do in this part is push up and take this provincial capital here, as that will then open up the gateway to Scotland, although technically the Roman Empire would have complete finished roughly about here, I think. I think that's where Adrian's War was. But what we're going to do is hope I would like to look we can come up and attack here. We can use both armies. Uh, just gonna siege. We can come up in support as well. But there's a general unit outside, but it's not gonna be a problem. And I think if I if I move my army here, it puts him in defensive range of both these settlements here while he heals up. Of course, what we're going to do is get straight in. Just drop a quick save to deal with any crashes. Of course, we're going to fight this because the campaign is coming to an end. Battle of Epicor and Con. This is a pretty familiar city to attack. We'll be attacking from the left hand side because the right hand side will be quite a narrow little gap. Okay, nice and dry, start deployment. Of course, the game always insists on putting you here. There's a very narrow gap to get through. Of course, the perfect place to attack is actually over here. Looks like we are, our, our army is actually coming in from quite an odd place actually. Why are you just bring this army in? And we're I'm just going to go quite literally in on this corner. Yep. I'll just put the blisters there. This time I'm going to put these here. So that if we can smash in here and then we can put the pikemen through into there. Hangers, you can come there. Yeah. These guys could come there. Or X Swordsman. Just line up behind. Pikeman. You can just come there. And where? This guy is our baggage train. He gives all our, our, our missile troops extra there. This guy comes in from behind here, but we, as far as I know, we can't get down from here so we'd have to literally come all the way around here is the normal way that actually happens what we're going to do is start by handling the walls there send the yeah we need to keep an eye out for the reinforcements if we can find them Of course, what we're going to have to do is bring these guys down this way. Do about there. She just keep bringing them all in. I think we're going to bring these guys around here as well. Right, most of the army is reinforcing army is coming in and bring you there. The walls are free. Walls are down. I think we're gonna go there. Guys, come in a bit closer. You can move in a bit closer as well. 
so that we can try and find out who's around. Move these guys forward. Start to move the infantry forward. Right, uh, we'll just use up the rest of the ammunition there. What we're going to do is just push these guys forward and see if we can get them on the kind of uh, attack here. Bring me the cab up. It's seventy percent. We might just get this last section down. We've got some medium melee infantry coming in. You literally. These guys have finished, uh, drop, leave. What I want to do at the moment is just let them stand here so that we can kind of just pelt them with ammunition at the moment because we're not we're getting a little bit of uh, fire from the tower here, but these guys are going to go in. And so what we want to do is just keep pouring in the light spear, light spear, medium infantry, medium infantry. Yeah, we can bring the Tarantines in as well to add a little bit of mischief to the course. And we've got some more Tarantine, so bring these guys up. Swordsman. You guys come there. Two generals together there. Um, Get those four X swordsmen through there. Let's push in. Don't want to commit the Tarantines just yet. Right, we've neutralized that tower. Actually, you guys come there. What have we got here? Wait, you come there. We can get a break here. That means we can send troops up that way. Balls went that way. You push on that. 
you guys come onto the back. Drop cab. What are you doing back there? I've got the baggage train up here. You guys switch your attention to those. Right, put the pikemen that way. Going to send uh, a couple of these guys up through here. I think we're send the Tarantines up here as well. Pikemen, come up, take that position. Generals. Thing is back here. Our general is under attack. Pike Bunt, you provide the defensive contingent. Quarantine is through. Pikeman just there. I think we're bring you guys over, right over to here. Yeah, you you can join these guys. And you can just keep. Right, Tarantine's through. Uh, bring Swordsman through. Let's push on to those. Think no. Ah, nope, pull back. Actually, over here. Bike bunt, hold that. Quarantines just pull back. You. You guys can withdraw right back here. Right, pop some pikemen, which I'm not using. You're taking too much damage, you withdraw. Push on to those. Push through. You're too damaged. Start pushing these troops through. Guys, keep pushing. Quarantines. Just get out of there for the moment. guys push on to those 
Ultron to those. These guys are. Right, these guys are coming forward, so we can send that Tarantine in there. Elephants up. We are end battle. We lost 173, killed 3,193. Um, the artillery didn't do as well as I was expecting. <laughs> The infantry did most of the legwork in this army. Look at that, 417, 354, 538. Even the um, the pike unit got 281 kills. The that Tarantine did very well. This one um, got a little bit too exposed, so he's was effectively kind of pushed out, and he's taken the most casualties. And down they go. And of course we're going to occupy. Let's have a quick look. I think some of these, these I think this unit was already damaged, wasn't it? Ready for further orders. At your command. Uh, the general kind of led ahead of us. We hunger for I think I'd like to kill him. Just. Down you go. Bye bye. I know it's a bit mean, but <laughs> just gonna pull you back inside defense range. You can now push through so we can see what's going on here. That's where I just pick that up. We're certainly gonna want the library. We certainly don't want that or that and I think we'll take that get rid, of, get rid of that as well so this is going to need a complete rebuild you're here quite happily defending this area here you've got this settlement here is 18 we're certainly going to build that I'm going to take that up to get the cultural conversion going as quickly as possible Let's see, how's the cultural conversion? It's 22% rising by 3% a turn, which is really good. Still got an empire maintenance of zero, which is absolutely brilliant. What we got here, actually is, doesn't say, looks like furs actually. So we've got that there, construction report, we've got in Metalum, we've got a library. Then you're going to take that up. Again, I, I know I don't really need the uh, Empire Maintenance, but it's just habit. I'd like to have a library. I think it's a good indication of uh, the sophistication of our... Now, during the... Not the last end term, but the end term before that, we actually got a message saying that the Macrimony Pirates were up here, but I can't see them. There's the bear. He's just about in this area here. Does that mean... It doesn't say anyone's uh, raiding. So, uh, so it means they're somewhere in this area here. I'm not going to send the Navy out to find them. Because I want this navy to defend Camelodon at the moment. I think oh we got a, a bit of a rebellion going here, but I think we can they can wait. I think this is an example of the new stealth mode. The fact that this is some of the unit's details are unknown. Moving closer may reveal more information. The spies have a higher chance of disturbing the details. So this is the new mechanic that was introduced with 1.28 that you don't get the instant reveal anymore like you used to get when they were very close. I don't think there's anything else that I really can do here. We've got this army kind of stood around doing not much in particular. But my instinct is I think we're just going to bring him over here. 
we've got this army up here but again I, I don't think he's really needed over here so I think that's about all we could do this turn just gonna go for an end turn oh wow here we've got a whole load of we got Kypris who's been down here what we got here growth I don't think we need growth in this area do we no we're max maxed out A bit of a public board. I'll make it. Well, I mean, it won't make that much difference, but this got general got a promotion. Ah, oh, he's he's my new general, isn't he? Okay, arm things. Got here British turncoat minus eight public order penalty to local presence. Right for all chariot units. Well, I'm I'm not exactly going to get a chariot unit. What army are you? You're the one with the elephants. So let me give you the morale for elephants. Zeal, cunning. Quite like that. Authority. Plus four percent morale for cavalry units. Um, I'm gonna come this way and I'm gonna give the cavalry charge bonus as well. The heralds of whatever you are. These guys are even better. I think we'll give him that. Uh, ten, plus 10% 10 morale. Well, we'll go with that. Okay, I'm just going for the intern. Okay, we'll go for that. This research complete, improved ramming, agent exposed, child is born, child is born, increase in rank, corruption report, wow. Can't see anything else that needs to be leveled up from that there. Now part of me would like to, I think we're going to go straight in, attack again. I think just to keep this moving plus we're on in summer I think we could probably because this is only a garrison so I think we can fight this without the assistance of the other army and we've got artillery and of course they're going to come straight out onto the battlefield they've got no cavalry we've got artillery and superior missile right weapons so this should be relatively straightforward <laughs> oh, this could be interesting. That might give them the actual charge bonus. So what we're going to have to do is come here. I'm going to go three and three. So I we'll have these guys protecting this flank him protecting this flank and again we have the usual the slinger these guys on this side she you can stay with the general we may actually decide to use you this time what we're going to do is to put the quarantines out here as a threat. Now I can't rush to get up on top of that. There. Well, we don't know. Um. We can move these guys forward. Moving a little bit tricky. Two sets of light infantry coming in that side. 
most of it's all fairly light front train. Yeah, I mean, the missile troops I've got now can tear up light infantry because Britannic tribesmen have very little in the way of armour. Just need to keep an eye out for... Yeah. I think we'll just bring these guys out. You change to there. These guys are breaking. Yeah, you move through the woods and get in behind. Medium infantry. Right. We got his target there, General. Counter charge. Wait, back his train back. Thing is back. General, you can do your thing on this side. Let him get in range. Right, start to move these guys forward. Split these guys each way. General round. Goes behind. You guys can deal with those. Singers in behind. I don't think you're going to catch them, but the general will. And then I'll just bring these guys across. Goes up round here. You split. Quick one. Right, we're in amongst their missile troops. of these guys Get the front lines to start moving forward they've gone you focus on the general was always in our favor I 
I don't think I need you two. You can go stand over there. You hit the backs of those. Right, they're just about to crumb break. Where did they go? Well, end battle. Lost 217. We killed 4,009. Uh, quite a lot of friendly fire though. Look at that. That's what, nearly 25% friendly fire. We did part of the job for them. Gen the general got 276 look at that, kills on the artillery. Yeah, and the cav. It goes to show that when you've got a purely infantry army, especially a barbarian infantry army, the cav is absolutely lords of the battlefield. I mean, they're, they're, you know, the speed of the cavalry allows you to get uh, missile troops and light troops and drive them off the battlefield. So it's a very quick way to get, you know, to, to mitigate the effects of missiles. And so we got heroic victory, important character. I'm not exactly sure why are you an important character. And down they go. And that gives us another. Now, this agent, I want to come from over here and just see what these guys are up to. Probably going to leave this army up here to defend. No, because no, actually, we've got this siege army here, haven't we? And we've got this army. So, and we got the navy defending here. Right. So, we got that there. Certainly, one in Agora. Let me take one of those. Have a look at what the recruitment got. I mean, this is not a bad unit, actually, if we were fighting on. Need a workshop. We don't need a training field. I think my instinct would be is to put that in there. And this is we got leather here. We're certainly going to take that down. We're certainly going to knock that down as well. So we've now got control of this area. We've got research to do, and the only research we've got left now is this one, which is gymnasia. It's going to keep increasing my costs for my army, but I mean we've got an income of one hundred ninety thousand, so. So we've now got a point where we've got one more region to take, which effectively would give us control of Wales. Let's say we, we've gone a little bit further than what the Romans went up here, but that's just the, a freak of the campaign map. So I think in the next part, so I would, I would assume that the next part is going to be the last part in this series, simply because I, I don't really want to come over here and conquer Ireland. I think I'd be quite happy just to take this and just to give you an overview of where we've got. So, I mean, we effectively control most of Europe. And when we've got control of Britannia, that would be pretty good. Actually, we get some iron from there. And if it wasn't for the 1.28 update, I would probably carry on and fight Carthage and come down here. To be honest, I think it's time to start looking at the, the Greek colonies for a new series. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.